Hey, welcome back to the January House. This is Mike. Thanks for checking in. Before we get started, just a reminder that I will be having an auction live tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern on my other channel. There's a link in the description of this video. Come over and hang out with us. It's a great time. We have some great items up for auction as well. All right, today's video is a what sold video, a few items that recently sold in my stores. So let's jump into it. All right, first out of the gate is a great item. This is a projection lamp light bulb. So I bought a box lot of film items at the live auction. There was a projector. There was a lot of eight millimeter uh, films of adult nature, which I sold on my YouTube auction. And in the bottom of the box, there was a few of these projection lamp light bulbs. And I really didn't think too much about it. I kind of put it off to the side and just decided I would get to it later. So I started checking them out and I looked at the comps and I couldn't believe how much they sold for. So uh, I bought the box for $30 and I already made my money back on the YouTube auctions uh, by selling the film. So I have zero cost into this and it sold for $59.49 with free shipping. All right, next up is another one of these uh, bookshelf games. I talked about in my last video, I think, uh, there was a local auction here on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, a lady was moving out of her house and she was having a auction through Facebook Marketplace. And some of the proceeds were going to a local church and the rest to her. Anyway, I bought a big, huge Home Depot storage box full of board games. This was in there. I already made my money back. I bought the whole box for $8. I sold one of the games already for $60. And I sold this Acquire board game for $65 plus shipping. All right, next up is a DVD. This is El Norte. I have no idea what El Norte means or what the DVD is about, uh, but I got it in a media lot at the live auction. And when you're looking at DVDs, some of these you know different DVDs, unusual ones that you might not see, sometimes they can go for some decent money. I really couldn't find comps on this one. So I put it up to auction on eBay and it sold for $13.95 with free shipping. All right, next up is a ashtray from the ashtray lot I got at the live auction. And as you know, I'm already into the profit on this. If you saw my last video, it's actually the thumbnail. I sold that Disney ashtray for some really, really good money. And I sold this vintage Desert Inn and Country Club ashtray from Las Vegas, Nevada for $12.95 plus shipping. All right, next up is an Apple MacBook Pro. I found this in a storage locker and obviously Apple products sell very well. I really tried to get this up and running, uh, but for some reason I couldn't get it to power on, turn on. I even went to Best Buy. I know I had to go to Best Buy for a power cord, $85 for a MacBook Pro power cord to try to get this up and running and working so I can sell it as, you know, working, tested, uh, but it still wouldn't hold the charge. Best Buy prices are a little pricey, but the people were very, very nice to me and they have a great return policy, 15 days. Uh, so I was able to return the power cord and get my money back. I sold this MacBook Pro laptop as is four parts on eBay for $115 plus shipping. All right, next is another one of those train photos. I sell these uh, pretty much every other week or so. I sent an offer on this one to a watcher and I sold it for $10.07 plus shipping. All right, next up is an item. It's one of these items that I never really thought would sell. And I really didn't know how much value it had to it. I bought a storage locker maybe a year ago now, and there was a bunch of odds and ends. This is a thermostat uh, receiver and remote for a gas fireplace hearth thing. I really wasn't sure what it was. Uh, it was in a box forever. Uh, it's new, sealed in package, and it sold for $89.95 plus shipping. My cost, since it's from a storage locker, is probably like 50 cents. So definitely a great sale here. All right, next up is an item. I have no idea what this is. This is a lot of four Kapala, Kapala candles. No idea. I bought a lot at the live auction, half a table uh, full of things. These candles were part of it. I didn't even look up what Kapala was. I have no idea. Uh, one of the tags on the candles there on the right says Kapala. So I lotted them together. I sold them for $11.99 plus shipping on eBay. Uh, the buyer just left me some really nice positive feedback. So happy Kapala, Merry Kapala. Thanks. All right, next up is a Ryobi keyless chuck. Uh, it's the part on like a power drill that opens and closes to allow the bits uh, to be placed inside it. 
Uh, this is new in package. Got this in a lot of tools at the live auction. Cost is probably like 25 cents. And I sold this for $18.95 with free shipping. All right, next up is this New York Giants uh, Rawlings football helmet. You might remember a while ago, I bought a lot of these helmets on a Facebook Marketplace deal. Uh, I've already made my money back. This was my last, last helmet. The poor Giants helmet sat forever. No one wanted this Giants helmet. I finally took an offer and I sold it for $55 plus shipping. All right, next up is another item that I wasn't sure would really sell. This is a 1995 liquid blue wolf t-shirt, single stitch, no tag. I listed it as it appears to be a large size. I put the measurements in the photo and it also had some holes in it. It just made me think of when I sell action figures that are broken or missing pieces, uh, this is kind of that shirt. It was missing the tag. It had some holes in it. Uh, I put it for auction because I had no idea what it would go for. I think this is the first ever single stitch clothing item I've ever sold on eBay. I got it in a storage locker. Very little cost. Another great sale. And finally, I got these new in-package goodie ponytail holders. Remember these things? Girls used to wear them when, uh, when you were younger in their hair for ponytails. I went to a thrift store and I picked these up new and packaged for $3. And I was really surprised these vintage uh, Goody hair products, uh, not just ponytail holders, a couple other ones sell for some good money, the old ones, the vintage ones. Uh, and this one sold for $35 plus shipping. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button for me. Leave me a message in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great videos. Thanks.